no one know the time. As the days keep on flowing, that is how we are approaching the D day. So we always appreciate ourselves for us to, to constantly accept Jesus' invitation. That is why we came. In some minutes and some hours, we will become things of the past. That is Jesus in our life. Viewers, thank you for remaining faithful with New Jerusalem TV. We believe whatever the Spirit of God has in store, you are also included for his plan of today. Thank you. God bless you. Let's go in his word. The book of Psalms. The Spirit of God has permitted me to go there. Psalms 103 means Psalms 103. Then you put this message title this way. Are you free or oppressed? It's a question for us. Psalms 103, I'll take verse 1 to 6. In your own time, you will take verse 1 to the end. Let's discover what David was, was singing there. Praise the Lord, my soul. All my innermost being. Praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, my soul. And forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases? Who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion? Who satisfies your desires with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles? The last six. The Lord works righteousness and justice for all the oppressed. The Lord works righteousness and justice for all the oppressed. Two-sided. The message. Title. Are you free? Or oppressed. We need to answer. So the choice is for us. That is why the Spirit of God made us to be free moral agent. To make your own choice. And the choice you accept today. You need to assume and accept it. You will have chosen not to come to church today. Like others do. You can also choose not to be a follower of Jesus like other has chosen. So the choice is for us. You can choose not to believe that God is using Benjamin. Simple. You can choose to say God is using that man of God, that woman of God. It is your choice. But make sure that tomorrow you should be able to defend what you have made choice in. If some say, I'm still poor, me, you have accepted oppressed. If you say you are still sick, means you have accepted oppressed. But if you have that peace in heart, continuously, you're on the side of freedom. That's why the message today comes with a balance. Are you free or oppress. So this is why David is singing to us towards the Father. Praise the Lord my soul. All my innermost being. Praise his holy name. This is the sight of freedom. The sight of consciousness. It is not obligatory that a minister of God must pray for you. 
Before the Holy Spirit, we are an instrument that heaven used, the Holy Spirit used. But why is it that we only believe that they must pray for us? If truly you are doing the right thing, Satan cannot have access to us unless we permit him. Yes, the devil cannot have access. Like what you confess, devil, I'm poor, it's caused by Satan, I'm sick, I'm depressed, I face backwardness, I face stagnation. Yes, it can be caused by Satan, but most often it is by us. If David is confessing to us on this verse, on this verse 1, that praise the Lord, my soul, all my innermost being, praise his holy name. We all remember that it came in a point that David offended the creator. It came in a point that David offended the creator. He quickly ran that I've repented. Father, forgive me. I will praise your name in my soul. I will praise your name in the innermost being of me. We just believe we can go out there and do things that are not pleasant to Jesus. Then when you come in his presence, they will pray for me all his way. The duty of ministers of God it is for us to preach the message that will bring God's children to consciousness our duty is for us to preach the message that will bring us to consciousness today people no longer have the fear of God today anyone can stand blaspheme the name of Jesus some of us, ministers of God, using the name to enrich ourselves. It's not a crime for you to be blessed as a minister of God. But your, your ministration should not be in the line of prosperity. Because we are all strangers on earth. Someday, you will pass on to glory. It is not what you have placed. It is not what you have. But what you are carrying back home. It is not what you have placed. It is not what is at your disposal. The riches, the blessing, the material things. We all desire and we all need it. But it is not what you have. It is not what you have placed, but what you will carry back home. You know, when someone goes to the market, he or she is expecting the basket to be full with the, the items to make the meal for the day. So, when you also are serving this act, Put at the center of your heart that someday you will return back home. As for me, Benjamin, I'm not oppressed. I'm free. But some of us, we are free because of what we can eat. What we can put on. Where we can stay. They are all necessary. We call them necessity. But they are not the written. We call them necessity. But they are not the written. If you focus on achieving them. The liberty that was given to David, he misused it. The liberty that was given to, to David, he misused it. Then he came in a point, he said, ah, I've offended God. Some of us know what we are doing that is wrong. We just believe that, let me do it now. 
On Thursday, God will use Benjamin to pray for me. On Sunday, I will be prayed for. You are prolonging the evil days in your life. Praise God all the time. It came in a point that's where you see David is reminding us that praise the Lord, my soul, all my innermost being, praise his holy name. Whether you are oppressed or you are free, you should stand to praise God. Whether you are oppressed or you are free, you should stand and praise his name. Don't only praise him when things are okay. Don't only praise him when things are right. At times, some of us can, it is natural, you can find yourself being annoyed within yourself. Make sure you fight it fast to make yourself happy. <laughs> there are some times you are just annoyed, eh? angered, just like that. Nobody has provoked you, not has happened to you, but you are just annoyed. Make sure you quickly adjust yourself. Let that peace be established. Let that peace quickly take its position inside of you. Then you have stability. Don't have any supportive hand to oppress. Supportive hand to freedom. Because the day you are enjoying freedom, the day attack, suppress will come. How will you handle it? It is better for us to live with a balance in our life. The day challenging comes, you know how to deal with it. The day you have freedom, you know how to handle it. But if you focus only for freedom, I want to be freedom, I want to be free, I want to be free, I want to be free, I want to be free. To be free. The day they will attack you, if you are not careful, you may commit suicide. It's like someone that was one time rich. He thought and feared that he would end being rich forever. No. The manner in which you handle what you have obtained is the same way you will benefit from it till you depart from this earth. Always put at the center of your heart that there will be a time to check you. There will be a time for attack. But you should not be the one to provoke. Like what David is informing us here. That he will make himself, we should make ourselves all the time to praise God. Both good and hard. Make yourself happy. Whether people frank at you, other people laugh at you. Like, yeah, nah. you look at the ministry. The ministry is beautiful. The ministry is big. Other people comes, or people don't come. Make yourself happy. <laughs> look very well. Your expectation for every day, it is not always your dream. Your expectation for every day is not always your dream. The two of them, the person that is so pompous, wide, courageous, <laughs> is who? Oppressed. Eh? Oppressed. That one will come. And if he knows that the journey you have embarked, it will be fruitful in the nearest future. He will fight for all. He will deploy all his mechanism to make you to doubt the journey you have taken. When happiness comes, when freedom comes, it deletes the 99 days you have been oppressed. When freedom comes now, you are positioned. Favor in life is coming towards you. It would delay the 99 days you have been oppressed or see backwardness. David misused his freedom. That was why he was warned by God. He committed sins. David, he misused his freedom. 
it is what is happening today. Some are in the market selling now. They think and feel that freedom is for them. Some on the streets looking at some of us that we are, we are mad to take this time to worship God. As I, I saw a video on my handset I think yesterday the night I saw a very big ministry in UK they have turned it to be a beer parlor very big they have turned it to be a beer parlor yes in UK then they are not using it to mock us Africans that it is what they gave us but I'm telling you if you find and read your Bible carefully, you will find it there. Jesus spoke that a time will come. So many people that had one time believed me would turn their back from me. The worst thing in life is to mishandle your freedom. <laughs> the worst thing in life is to mishandle liberty. You know, I've said that we can make choices. We are free moral agent. We are, we are agent of ourselves. We make our decision. But the worst thing in life is to mismanage your liberty. Because tomorrow, you will be questioned about it. But our father David quickly reasoned and start praising him. Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefits. On that verse 2. He has not come to what? To reason him. That praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefits. He not start reason. That why am I putting myself in oppressed? Whereas I had freedom yesterday. Why am I putting myself in this tight corner? Whereas I had freedom yesterday. That was David talking. I'm not giving you history. Fit yourself now. For what we are reading. And what we are explaining. Fit yourself inside. He says, praise the Lord my soul. And forget not all his benefits. Because when challenges. When Satan post challenge. We quickly forget the goodness of God in our life. Where certain post challenge that go, where heaven permit that go and attack down my son, because it is only heaven that permit. You turn your back now from Jesus. You say, I've been worshiping this God for these years now. Why this must happen to me? Why this must happen to me? No, means that he does not exist. Why? No. The moment Satan post challenge, either sickness, poverty, stagnation, backwardness, intimidation. Quickly look back. I bet you, you will see all the goodness, the benefit he has been made happen in your life. And it will speak strength instantly in your life to face the present challenge. It is only the sources of yesterday that give us strength to stand the pressure and tension of today. For me, I'm not oppressed. For me, Benjamin, I'm not oppressed. I'm free. If I begin to confess that I'm oppressed, I'm depressed, I'm facing stagnation, means Jesus dead on the cross is of no use to me. But our message is the cross. Our message is the cross. I will not mishandle my liberty. I will not mishandle my freedom because it's a trap. People just feel out there. They can go with it. They do whatever they want. Who is this Jesus? Who is this God they are calling for how many years now? Please. 
That's what people are doing. And he know. And he knew that such a moment will come in the life of his children. So, if you say you are oppressed, it means that you have diagnosed yourself that you are sick. And the moment you diagnose yourself that you are sick, you must look for what? For remedy. But for us that we know we are, we are benefiting from his freedom, from his protection, we will remain true in his name. So, please, don't focus in freedom. Don't focus in oppress. Make yourself free. Make yourself happy. Those who were here on Thursday, I confess to you, make yourself happy. You cannot see freedom. When I say freedom, I'm talking about income. Some of you, when you go to the market square with your goods, you don't know how it looks like. Yes. You even open your store, you don't know how it will look like on that day. You don't know if nature will oppress you or nature will favor you. Where do you belong now? Most often, when nature favor us, <laughs> we will smile from morning to the next morning. Never have market. Hello? Yes. How today? Mm. Too much. But if things are not going the way you wish it to be, someone will be call your hand and say, look, you see like this. You don't even respond. Because things are tough. But that is a moment that Jesus wants to see your genuine ability towards him. Even in that sickness, some people feel that they can combine some other things with their faith to get the result. If you truly believe, you must have an independent heart in Christ Jesus. Okay, let us assume that tomorrow you, you finally get the, the answer for that situation. Who will take the glory? Who will take the glory? Let us assume that tomorrow you finally get the answer. The answer is there. Who will take the glory? Who? Please. Make yourself happy. Don't allow anything outside of you to make you happy. If you allow anything on the outside to make you happy, the day there is no what? Even on the outside. I've said it here. You may easily hang yourself. You may easily commit suicide. Make yourself happy. Not favor, oppress, or freedom. Be at the center. Today, what present? Thank you, Jesus. Tomorrow, again, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Jesus, only come from a heart that does not complain. Oh, mama. Are you like that? Amen? Are you like that? You're not like that. You only complain. You only mama. You only lament. As if the person you are complaining to does not have his own situation or challenges. Everyone has his own challenges differently in their lives. But make yourself happy. Praise the Lord with your soul. And always remember the benefit he has made happen in your life. It will speak strength to your present situation. Simple. It will speak strength to your present situation. Who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases? That verse is it present or past? Who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases? Is it present or past? Who forgives all your sins and heals all your what? Is it present or past? Eh? I'm not getting you. 
<laughs> I read again. The verse 3. Who forgives all your sins, get it clearly, and heals all your diseases. I want to carry you along. I don't want to be singing here as if I'm the only one benefit. I know what I'm saying. Who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases? Are you sick? <laughs> Amen? Are you sick? That vestiary, is it present or past? Take your time. Who, he says what? Who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases? Is it past or present? Praise the Lord. Uh -huh. I'm Sister Evelyn. I believe it's past because of who I was yesterday. Don't, don't, you push no confess what you are not old. Okay. I will take to you. Yeah, I'm coming. Do you have a challenge? Yes. And then what is the challenge telling you? He's telling me to hold my ground, to move on. Now, what you have read there, on that verse three, you say it's past. Then why are you passing through what you are going through? That is because we understand that we are on earth. And then Christ was where? On space. <laughs> What you are reading there on that vestiary truly is past. But what you are complaining, you should not complain it. Because you know that this sentence, this vestiary is confessing, informing you that he said, who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases. Don't, are you sure that what you are passing through is not caused by you? Are we sure that what we are going through is not caused by us? It is your past that remind your sins where rather sins had been paid. Your past is reminding you your past is haunting you by his word by his wound by his stripes by his chastisement <laughs> what do you want again so you are not a victim you are a genuine victim. So if you begin to confess, I'm passing through this, I'm passing through that, I'm passing through this, I'm passing through that, I'm passing through this, I'm passing through that, means the, the, that the, pay, the, the Christ, Christ paid a price on the cross is in vain. The price he paid on the cross is in vain. The price Jesus paid on the cross it's in vain if you are complaining. If you are still confessing. So, we're supposed not to focus on what we are going through because it will come. That's why I always encourage people that they should always remain positive. I always encourage people that they should remain positive. Let positivity comes out of your mouth every day. Language to be. Language to forgive. Language to construct. Don't be so negative. Jesus. 
He stayed on edge. There was no moment he lived in negativity. He put all his strength and effort to remain positive despite the circumstances that surround him. But why today? We have quickly forget the price he paid. We have quickly forgot. Because then, he said, forgive our sins and heal all our diseases. Yes! And heal all our diseases. It means that we are benefiting for a past victory. We are benefiting today for a past victory. You are not here. Why you are not here? Why are you not here? You need to check your surrounding. I'm not blessed. Why are you not blessed? And that's why you see most of us see that it is by going to church you will be blessed. Eh? It is by going to church you will be here. It is by going to church you will be delivered. No. Your healing will occur through your attitude. Your blessings will occur through your attitude. Your deliverance will occur through your attitude. Not because of your attendance. And then I see many people have been worshipping God. Then they forget what? What have you forgotten? Eh? What are you forgotten? Hallelujah. You are praising God. You are praising, you are worshiping God. Good. What have you forgotten? This is us here. Come and sit here, brother. Because you see, you are seeing here. Uh, just sit there. Uh, you just to demonstrate something. This is us. All of us here, including Benjamin, this is us. Now, this is what people have been feeling for years. That they have been closer church for decades, for years. Now, Jesus is interested of what? Eh? They what? They at you. Clap for yourself. <laughs> not your what? Not your? Not your present. And if this attitude here is not in line with Jesus, you will stay here in Mansayo for 100 years. Nothing will change. Jesus is not interested of the person we are. But his interest is the attitude we carry. If this attitude is not in line with Jesus, you miss the mark of fellowship. Thank you, brother. Thank you. You miss the mark. So you can dress like more than me here. Eh? You can dress. Yes. You dress well. They give, the usher will give you seat. But some of us, the attitude we possess is not in line with God. Thank you for giving your heart for God's word. We pray God's word should remain in us. Give us a vast understanding about this word so that we grow and become mature. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank you.